there must be something wrong because I'm trying to cut 80 millimeters and in the box says it can cut up to 60 millimeters. And we all know that these machines have always some margin. The frame is finished, straightish and squarish, so let's get to the country.
I almost forgot to fasten this pulley here. Left side plate is complete and I've already assembled the one for the right side, so let's install them on the frame. But before we do that, a quick ad from longtime sponsor of this channel, Altium Designer. Altium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. It enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every phase of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focus on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Altium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. You can store all of your libraries and design data in one secure, accessible and version control space with Altium Designer centralized cloud storage. For a free Altium Designer trial, click the link in the description. And now let's mount this on the frame.
100% of the mechanical stuff is in the machine, but there is still one thing missing, the wiring. And you and I know that wiring is so... These HTV5M belts have 5mm between teeth before doing this to them. Now that they are stretched, they have a little bit more space between teeth. So it's a good idea to make a calibration cut. This one in here is the calibration cut, which is around 0.25mm off, because this should be 10mm. 
And this one in here is after doing the calibration, which is, as far as my calipers let me know, just perfect. And now that the machine is calibrated and I made this with the couch engineers, let's try something a little bit more difficult. I'm way better at building these machines than using them, but this doesn't look too bad. I tried a few more things like machining a giant HTD5 and pulley out of 20mm thick aluminium, and I tried also some speed machining. This bracketing here took less than 5 minutes, but pushing the envelope has its risks. And it seems that if you fling molten metal through the vacuum hose adapter, it gets stuck. But overall, if you use it like a reasonable human, which it seems that I'm not, it's a great machine. If you are interested in the files for this machine, there is a link in the description. And that's it for this video. Thanks a lot to all my members and patrons. Thank you. And now please go and make something!